You normally see goalkeeper Ryan Herman showing off his soccer skills. But this past Monday, it was his reading skills on display at Plano's Barksdale Elementary School. The FC Dallas goalkeeper read, if you ever want to bring an alligator to school, don't to the Barksdale students. Ryan helped kick off Barksdale's Reading Ambassador Week, which promotes the importance of literacy to young kids. It was a great experience today coming out here and uh, giving back to the youth, giving back to the community. I mean, these guys are the future of America, the future of FC Dallas, hopefully a future brand of FC Dallas fans, future group of them. It was a great time for me and I hope they had a good time as well. Don't forget about FC Dallas's 50-50 raffle brought to you by Globe Life. At all FC Dallas home games throughout the season, the team will hold a raffle that will deliver half the proceeds to a local charity as well as the FC Dallas Foundation. The other half of the raffle proceeds will go to a lucky winner who purchases a ticket. For more information, just log on to fcdallas.com forward slash 5050 raffle. One of the great things about these FC Dallas players is their connection with their fans. Atiba Harris recently showed just how strong that bond is when he gave the Perez family an incredible gift. That story is this week's Elephant Auto Insurance Off the Pitch. Soccer truly is a family affair for the Perez family. Such a soccer loving family. That's why Tom and Jenny were so touched when they had the chance to visit Toyota Stadium last month. You see, the Perez family had committed to buying season tickets in 2015, but in March of last year, they received the news that changed everything. You just think this can't be happening to me. I was perfectly healthy. Um, I'm an athlete. I've always taken care of myself, and that's the thing about something like cancer. It doesn't matter. Jenny was diagnosed with breast cancer. Well, last March was just bad news after bad news. No signs or symptoms of cancer. I mean, I could even look back and think there was nothing wrong with me. I was probably in the best shape I had been in in a long time, and yet I still had cancer. And so that made me angry. The family couldn't fulfill its commitment for FC Dallas season tickets for a number of reasons. But realistically, it just wasn't in the cards, just not even just financially, physically for me to put myself in those situations. Soccer is such a big part of our lives, I really wanted to do it and it just didn't work out. Felt terrible to say, hey, sorry, you know, this probably isn't something we should do. But Jenny fought like the athlete she is and is now healthy. FC Dallas defender Atiba Harris heard Jenny's story and was touched. Just to see someone having to battle cancer, that's, that's, that's tough enough, you know. But then to overcome it, to overcome it and still be able to be strong regardless of the situation, like financially, they couldn't afford to, to they had to give up their season tickets um, to battle a life issue. Atiba Harris bought FC Dallas season tickets for the Perez family to ensure these soccer fans can spend time with each other, enjoying the sport they love. And decided to take it up on myself and get you guys season tickets for 2016. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. That's wonderful. <laughs> and I hope to see you guys in the stand every game. There's no real words for it. You don't expect someone who you don't know to come and all of a sudden present you with such a valuable gift, something that's just not monetary, but it'll be something we can share together and with our girls. And it's not a one-time thing, it's a whole year and it's a part of the you know, FC Dallas family. There's, there's no real way to describe it. You just feel blessed that other people would take their time, money and effort and dedicate it to you. This family, Thomas and Jen and their girls, um, I'm thankful that the father, the father above blessed them with another day of life and be able to, for him to be able to overcome, for Jenny to be able to overcome cancer and move forward. And hopefully this season she, she's the loudest in the stadium, <laughs> more than us. The generosity of people is, is overwhelming. I've said through the whole experience that people are good and we need to see that.
absolutely love telling stories like that, Walker, because you get to see the human side of you guys. And for Atiba and his family to do what he was able to do for the Perez family, who is an inspirational story. Jenny Perez is such an inspiration in her own right. That just warms my heart, being able to mm -hmm. experience and tell those kind of stories. Yeah, Atiba, he's a class act. And Ivan was joking around with him in the locker room uh, last week and was like, Atiba, what are you going to do after soccer? Because you should definitely go into politics. <laughs> That's you know? pretty good. Uh, yeah. I thought, like, yeah. He's got that smile. He's he got that charisma. And, and he's got that heart to, to help people. So for Atiba, I mean, you can't say anything more about his character. Uh, just a really great guy. He's probably too good hearted to go into politics <laughs> as, yeah, we're maybe so, maybe so. <laughs> as we're seeing in this election year. OK, coming up, Daniel Robertson and Carter Baum get you ready for tonight's match between FC Dallas and the San Jose Quakes. FC Dallas is back at Toyota Stadium Saturday, April 17th against Sporting KC. That one is sold out, but you can still get tickets for the club's Wednesday, May 11th game at Toyota Stadium against Portland. That one starts at 8 o'clock. Just log on to fcdallas.com for tickets and more information.